Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Grimsby Institute. We're going to do a little virtual tour of our studios for those that can't get here. UCAS is on the way, so I thought it'd be a really good idea to show off the facilities and uh, let you have a sneak behind the scenes of what we do here. Going to be ably assisted by uh, our technician, Matt. So behind him is our grand piano, and this is our music floor. We've got the music offices here, lockers to store musical instruments when they're not needed. Fantastic looking uh, video wall made of recycled Macs that we're quite proud of. The first thing you'll notice is that uh, everything's under pass control. We had a refurb in 2014 and spent a million pounds on the facilities. So we want to keep them safe and for our music students. So this is our first rehearsal room. Uh, this rehearsal room's got two purposes. We can have a small performance. We can also, most of the time it is just for rehearsal. You'll notice all the labelled back, back line. We buy all the right stuff, the things that you'll see in the industry. So martial amps, tamar drum kits. But you'll also see quite a large PA, active PA there, uh, that we can turn on and turn this into a little bit of a performance space as well. Teach life sound with the Alan and Heath desk there. Able to uh, present theory sessions on the, uh, the flat screen. So great room, very versatile. So I'll move on. So we're very lucky to have this entire floor to ourselves, so we can make all the noise that we want. This is one of our flagship studios. This is Studio A, a HD studio. So in here we've got 24 track desk, all uh, with Mac with Pro Tools two different monitoring speakers, record at five times the quality of CD if you if you so wish. Through there is our live room, as you can see it's quite a large live room for this one. Get plenty of musicians in there, we've had choirs, full bands, also a little bit of re rehearsal space if we're pushed for space sometimes. So an excellent studio. There's our live area. So we've got storage spaces at the back for all our equipment. Fantastic technician team, make sure that our equipment is always maintained and therefore we're just collecting lots of stuff, lots of toys to use. Again, branded stuff, we're looking at Tamastar classic drums, um, Marshall amplification, Marshall PA, PV bass stuff. Moving out across to Studio B. Again, quite a large live room. Slightly different control room in here. So this one's a 16 track studio, no less powerful than the other studio. Sometimes the students quite like coming in here because it's a little bit more chilled out, good for mixing. Uh, you, it's got the ability to plug your laptop in as well, which makes it very, very useful for our students that invest in a laptop that can use their plugins. Again, pretty big live area. Uh, that's a Mapex drum kit you see there. So it's good to get a full, full band in there, no problem. So I'll take you to Studio C, which is a, a mirror image of Studio D. We've done that for a, a reason. Studio B and C, therefore, if you move from one, it's exactly the same as the other. It makes it moving from each studio really, really easy. Again, as you can see, it's exactly the same. We've got the two focus right preamps there, 16 track in. Works with Logic, Pro Tools, nice little small setup. Slightly smaller live room. The live room doesn't get as much use in here. Um, much more of a, uh, a mixing um, room, but no less powerful if you do want to get some recording done. Studio A, I think. And finally, Studio A, which is a, mar um, a mirror image of Studio B. So Studio A, oh sorry D. <laughs> Always get those nicked up. So what we did in, uh, when planning moving across here back in 2014, we wanted a, 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 a space, a control room space that was big enough for a full class. So we flipped the rooms over. So we went with a, lot, a smaller live room, as you can see, no less powerful, got the Black Star and the Orange Amp and the Line 6 in there, plus the Tama, uh, Sonar drum kit. Or Mapex drum kit, beg your pardon. Um, 
and we just wanted a room where we could teach some of the theory at the front. We've got the projector, we've got the, the lecturers station there that can plug in the laptop so we can teach the theory, but then everybody, there's a plenty of room for everybody and we can come to the desk and do some uh, recording at the desk. So it's really, really useful. It was one of our dreams to have this kind of space when we moved across. We had a blank canvas, so we made sure it happened. So there's our studios. And here is our rehearsal room. So this is rehearsal room four. So we've got the Yamaha power desk. You, typically we have the 57s, uh, as the uh, 58s as the studio, um, the live industry standard. Again, plenty of room for a band, good quality back line, all bookable. Rehearsal room three, very similar. Again, Yamaha power desk. Um, good quality backline, sonic drum kit, PV, bass amp, Marshall cab. Good view of the town out the window here. Finally, we've got rehearsal room two. Again, very similar, stocked full of good stuff. We've got the Decent drum kits, crate bass amp, the PV Viper combos, Yamaha power desk. For the final two rooms, we're going to show you then our teaching spaces. The students do tend to sneak in here though, so they can get their work done. When we moved across back in 14, uh, 2014 and we planned one of the rooms that our old building was one that was a sequencing suite just like this. And it was our dream to have two because it was such a popular room. So we've got um, Max, Logic, Pro Tools loaded, little keyboard, everything you need really. Focus right there so you can plug in your guitars, your vocals. Just mini studios. Uh, lecturer's got the same at the front with the whiteboard to demonstrate things. And then finally, slightly bigger room. The beauty of these rooms is not only are they mini studios, they also come loaded with Word, PowerPoint, all the internet technology that you need to do your research. So ridiculously uh, popular rooms with our students. Again, lecturer, this one's a little bit bigger. Um, and uh, students can come in here, get most of the things that they need to get done. Thank you very much guys for, for watching. Uh, that's, all, that's us for now. If you want to apply to our courses, we do two courses. Uh, the BA ONS Music Production and the BA ONS Popular Music Performance. If you search for Tech Partnership online on Newcast, you will find us and we're taking applications now, so please apply.